going to talk about how we can get logged into Infinite Campus, which is our district's online resource to keep parents up to date about your child's grades, attendance, and it is used to send communication to families from your child's teacher, their school, and vital information from the district as well. I am going to share my desktop with you now and go through the steps of how to get logged into Infinite Campus. I'm going to start off by having my browser open already. I tend to use Chrome for my browser since it works great with Google. And I'm going to go to the district's main website, which is ccsd.net. When this website opens up, it will have a ton of different information on it for families, including the most recent updates from the district. From the main district page, I'm going to go down to where I can see several words in blue, and I'm going to click on the fourth one that says Infinite Campus. This will open you up to a new tab, which is the Infinite Campus page. On this new page, you will need to scroll down to where you see Campus Parent Student in blue words. It is important to note that there are two separate applications, one for parents and one for students. Please make sure that you are logging in under your parent account since it's the only way that you will be able to update your information and see all your children who are currently enrolled in CCSD. Let's go ahead and click on this blue button here that says Go to Campus Parent Student. This will open another page full of information about this application including information about how you can even download an app on your smartphone to use Infinite Campus. When you do this, you will look for Campus Parent in your phone's application store, such as Google Play or Apple Store. And the icon will have a P on it for Parent. This is a great way to receive frequent updates on your children. However, for our purposes today, we are going to continue on the desktop version. Back towards the top, there are larger blue words that say Campus Parent Student Information, and then a large icon. Right under that are some smaller blue words that say Visit Campus Parent Student. Go ahead and click on this link once. This will take us to the actual login page for Infinite Campus. Please make sure to click the bottom blue button that says Campus Parent. If needed, Infinite Campus can also be displayed in Spanish. To change your displayed language, scroll down to the bottom of the login page to where you see language. Next to that is a small arrow that will allow you to choose your desired language. Now you will be asked to enter your parent username and password. If you do not know or cannot remember your username or password, please contact your child's school during regular office hours. All main phone lines are being transferred to school personnel, and there will be someone who can assist you to get that information. When you do have that information, go ahead and enter your username and password to get logged into your account. Please note that passwords are case sensitive, so make sure that the letters are lowercase or capitalized as needed. Then click on the blue button that says Login. This will take you to your individual account. I can double check that I am at the right account by clicking on the person icon located in the top right hand corner, which is also called the user menu. When I click here, my name should appear on the top of the small pop-up menu. Before I go in and show you how to update your information, please note that the middle of this page is called the Message Center. This is where you would find any messages that have been sent out from the district, school, or teacher that needs your attention. So now let's make sure your current information is in Infinite Campus so that you can be contacted by your child's teacher, the school, and the district. We're going to start by going up to the user menu and clicking on the first blue word in the menu that says Settings. I'm going to click on that once, and then a new menu will pop up. Now I want to go down to the third option that says Contact Preferences and click that once. This will open you up to a page that will show what information the district has on you right now. At the top, you will see a spot for your cell phone number, work phone number, and other phone number. Please make sure all these numbers are current. If you need to change or add any information, simply click on that line and type in the phone number. Below that is a space for your email address and a secondary email. Your first email should be the one that you check most often and is a good way of contacting you. 
The secondary email address could be your work email or possibly a spouse or other guardian's email that would be able to reach you in case of an emergency. To update or add an email address, please click on the line and type in your information. Under the email addresses, you will see an area to select for preferred language. When messages are sent out to all families in the district, they are sent in both English and Spanish. Please click on the small arrow in the box to select the language in which you wish to receive these messages. Scrolling down, you will see an area that will ask which email you want to receive different kinds of messages from the district or school. You can choose if you want to receive messages that are a priority, about attendance, general messages, messages from the teacher, messages regarding behavior, emergency messages, or messages from other district staff to either go to your primary or your secondary email address. To be safe, you can also just click all so that you are sure you won't miss any important information. The most important thing is that at the bottom of the page is a blue save button. Please make sure to click save before you leave the page so that your information is saved correctly. A green box will then pop up to say that all your changes have been saved successfully. If you do not need to update any information, then you do not need to click on the Save button. If you need any additional information or something is just not working right, please make sure to contact your child's school through the main office number during school hours. If you are not sure what that number is, you could go through our district webpage at ccsd.net. When the page opens, you can go down to the list of the blue words at the top and click on the second option, which is Schools. Click on Schools, and then a new page will open about Schools General Information. Scroll down to where it says School Contact Information, and click on the first option underneath that says Search for a School. This will open a page where I can type in my child's school name, then click search and your child's school information will appear. I encourage you to call your child's school if you have any questions or concerns 